Spiritual Success, The Secret to Wealth from Within Written and published by Wealthy7 The Introduction You're likely familiar with the common notion of wealth, but have you ever considered the concept of spiritual success? This book seeks to redefine wealth, not as a pile of money or assets, but as a state of abundance from within. It's about aligning your values, overcoming limiting beliefs, and harnessing the power of intention. It's about realizing that there's more to success than material prosperity. Let's step into this transformative journey together. Part 1. Redefining Wealth Beyond Material Prosperity Breaking free from the conventional understanding of wealth, it's essential for you to realize that true prosperity reaches beyond material possessions, it's a richness of the soul, a spiritual success that brings inner peace, love and fulfillment. You may be wondering, how do I achieve this spiritual prosperity? Let's redefine wealth together. You've been conditioned to equate prosperity with material gain, but there's a transformative shift awaiting you. Think of wealth not as a bank account balance, but as a state of spiritual abundance. This isn't to dismiss the importance of financial stability, but to help you understand that there's more to wealth than what meets the eye. Imagine a life where you're content, not because of what you own, but because of who you are and what you contribute to the world. That's spiritual success. It's the sense of fulfillment you get from inner growth, personal development, and mindful living. It's about being present, authentic, and in tune with your higher self. The path to spiritual wealth isn't paved with gold, but with virtues like compassion, integrity, and gratitude. It begins with self-awareness, recognizing your potential and understanding your purpose. It involves fostering relationships that enrich your soul and engaging in activities that nourish your spirit. To release your spiritual wealth, it's time to harness the potent power of intention, a force that can guide your journey towards inner richness and fulfillment. The beauty of intention lies in its simplicity. It's your inner compass, your guiding beacon towards achieving your spiritual goals, you see, intention is more than a mere wish or a fleeting thought. It's a profound commitment to yourself, a promise made in the deepest corners of your soul. It's a bold declaration of your aspirations, a badge of honor to your unwavering resolve. It's the driving force that propels you forward, even when the road gets steep and the journey feels intimidating. But how do you tap into this powerful force? Start by clearly defining what you want. Be specific, be audacious. Your goals shouldn't just excite you, but also challenge you. Next, align your actions with your intentions. Every step you take, every decision you make, should be in harmony with your objective. You're not merely wishing for success, you're working for it. Lastly, and most importantly, believe in your intention. Trust in its potency, have faith in its ability to transform your life. Remember, your intention isn't just a goal, it's an extension of your identity, a reflection of your highest self. Part 2. Cultivating a Mindset of Abundance Now let's journey into cultivating a mindset of abundance, where you're not just surviving but thriving in your spiritual journey. You see, it's not merely about amassing material wealth. Instead, it's about embracing the overflowing bounty of life and seeing opportunities where others see hindrances. Start by recognizing the abundance that already exists in your life. It's easy to overlook the wealth of blessings we encounter daily. Your health, your relationships, your experiences, all are forms of wealth. You're richer than you think, and acknowledging this is the first step towards abundance. Next, focus on giving rather than receiving. It may seem counterintuitive, but the more you give, the more you receive. Generosity is a powerful tool for attracting abundance, as it signals to the universe that you trust in its infinite supply. Believe in your worthiness. You're deserving of abundance in all its forms. The limiting beliefs you've held about yourself block the flow of prosperity. Break down these barriers and open the door to abundant blessings. Lastly, practice gratitude. By appreciating what you have, you create a positive vibration that attracts even more abundance. Gratitude is the magnet for miracles. Make it a habit to express thanks every day and watch how your life transforms. 
you hold the power to shift your mindset and invite abundance into your life. It's an inside job. Remember, abundance isn't something you acquire, it's something you tune into. Tune in and let the magic unfold. Having cultivated a mindset of abundance, it's equally important to align your values with the wealth you're seeking. This isn't just about making money, it's about creating a meaningful, fulfilling life that reflects your deepest beliefs. Think of wealth not as an end goal, but as a tool to help you live out your values. Begin by identifying what truly matters to you. Is it education, health, family, community, freedom, creativity? Your values are your North Star, guiding your decisions and actions. Next, envision how wealth can support these values. If you value education, for instance, wealth could mean having the resources to continue learning or giving back by supporting educational initiatives. It's essential to remember that wealth isn't always monetary. You're rich in time, skills, relationships, health and knowledge. Aligning your values with wealth means recognizing and leveraging all forms of wealth at your disposal. However, this alignment isn't a one-time task. As you grow and evolve, so will your values and understanding of wealth. Continually reassess, realign and recalibrate. Authentic alignment happens when you're open to change and committed to personal growth. Embrace this journey of alignment with optimism and curiosity. It's an opportunity to deepen your relationship with yourself, expand your worldview, and create a life that truly resonates with who you are. Remember, alignment isn't about having it all, it's about living a life that feels rich in the ways that matter most to you. You're not just seeking wealth, you're seeking a wealth of experience, a wealth of meaning, and a wealth of fulfillment, and that's a journey worth undertaking. Part 3. Overcoming Limiting Beliefs About Money Unraveling your limiting beliefs about money is a pivotal step in your journey towards spiritual success. It's vital to understand that money isn't evil or corrupting. It's just a tool, a means to an end. It's what you do with it and how you perceive it that truly matters. You've probably heard sayings like money is the root of all evil or rich people are greedy. These are limiting beliefs that society has ingrained in us, creating a negative association with wealth. But let's challenge these beliefs. Let's flip the script. Money can also be a force for good. It can create opportunities, provide security, and empower individuals to make a positive impact. Once you've identified your limiting beliefs, it's time to replace them with empowering ones. Instead of viewing money as a necessary evil, see it as a tool to fulfill your purpose and achieve your dreams. Affirm to yourself that you're capable of earning, saving and managing money effectively. Visualize wealth as a means to live your best life, not as a measure of your worth. In your journey towards spiritual success, harnessing the energy of gratitude can open doors you never thought possible. Gratitude is more than an emotion, it's a force that can shape your reality. It's about acknowledging all you have, not what you lack. Through this lens, your world transforms and wealth takes on a deeper spiritual meaning. When you're thankful, you're fundamentally telling the universe you're ready for more blessings. It's an affirmation of your faith in life, an invitation for abundance to flow into your existence. Begin by counting your blessings no matter how small they may seem. That warm cup of coffee in the morning, the roof over your head, the love of your family, these are all blessings. Gratitude doesn't mean ignoring difficulties or challenges. It means recognizing them as part of your journey, part of what makes you who you are. You're not denying reality, you're choosing to focus on the positives. This mindset creates an energy field of positivity that attracts prosperity and success. Start a gratitude journal. Write down everything you're grateful for each day. Over time, you'll notice a shift in your attitude and your circumstances. You'll feel happier, more fulfilled, and you'll notice opportunities you wouldn't have seen before. Gratitude is wealth. It's the foundation of spiritual success. Harness its power and watch your life transform. After all, you're not just seeking financial success, you're aiming for a rich life in every sense of the word. Part 4. Tapping into your spiritual resources. Just as you've learned to harness the power of gratitude, it's essential to tap into your spiritual resources, your inner well of wisdom and strength, to achieve true success. 
This isn't about religious doctrine or dogma, but about nurturing a deep connection with your higher self. This inner wellspring, often overlooked, is a reservoir of untapped potential that can revolutionize your life. Your spiritual resources are your secret weapon. They provide insight, resilience, creativity and serenity the ingredients for success in any endeavor. When you're connected to this resource, you're able to move beyond the ordinary and step into the extraordinary. So, how do you tap into this wellspring of wisdom? It starts with self-awareness. Pay attention to your thoughts, emotions and feelings. Recognize the signals that your inner self sends you. They're often subtle, but with practice you'll learn to discern them. Meditation is another powerful tool. It quiets the chatter of the mind, allowing your spiritual resources to surface. It's like clearing away the dust to reveal a precious gem. And don't forget about intuition. This is your spiritual compass guiding you to your destiny. Trust it, it's not some fanciful notion but a part of you that's connected to a higher domain of wisdom. Beyond the domain of self-awareness and intuition, there's another powerful spiritual tool you can embrace the law of attraction. This universal principle, often dismissed as a new age concept, actually holds a profound truth. It's about fostering a mindset that believes in the power of positive thinking and visualizing your goals. Now, you might be asking how does this law work, it's quite simple. The law of attraction suggests that the energy you put out into the universe, whether positive or negative, is what you'll attract back into your life. So, if you're constantly focusing on success, abundance and positivity, that's what you'll manifest in your life. But don't mistake this for a get-rich-quick magic trick. It's not enough to just think positive thoughts, you've got to feel them, believe in them. It's about aligning your thoughts and emotions with the outcome you desire. Believe in your worthiness of success and let that guide your actions. Remember, the law of attraction isn't about denying the reality of challenges, but about choosing to focus on possibilities. It's about cultivating an attitude of expectancy, not desperation. As you begin to truly embrace this law, you'll notice a shift in your perspective and in your life. Embracing the law of attraction is a journey, not a one-time event. It requires practice, patience and persistence. But as you journey on, you'll realize that the true secret to wealth isn't just about having more, but about being more. So dare to imagine, believe and attract the life you desire. Part 5. Developing a relationship with money. Cultivating a healthy relationship with money is a pivotal step towards achieving spiritual success. Often people view money as a necessary evil, but it's time to shift that perspective. See money not as an obstacle, but as a tool for personal growth and for making a positive impact. Now, you might wonder how to build this relationship. Start by understanding your current mindset about money. Are you perpetually worried about it, or do you spend without thought? begin to observe your patterns. By becoming aware of your habits, you'll begin to recognize where changes are needed. Next, embrace the concept of abundance. It's a radical shift, but a necessary one. Money isn't a finite resource you need to hoard, there's more than enough for everyone. When you acknowledge this, you'll find that your relationship with money becomes less about fear and more about possibility. Finally, express gratitude. Yes, for money too. Gratitude, you'll find, creates a positive energy that attracts more abundance into your life. So, celebrate your paychecks, your bonuses, even your bills, they're evidence of the prosperity in your life. Developing a healthy relationship with money isn't about amassing wealth for the sake of it. Rather, it's about recognizing money as a tool that can facilitate your journey towards spiritual success. As you change your mindset, you'll realize that money, like everything else in life, is simply energy and with the right perspective you can harness it for your highest good. Steering the delicate balance between material and spiritual pursuits can often feel like walking a tightrope. But it's a journey that's essential to your overall well-being and spiritual success. Recognize that these two areas of your life aren't at odds. Instead, they can harmoniously coexist and even fuel each other's growth, leading to a more enriched, fulfilling life. Remember, it's not material wealth that hinders spiritual growth but the attachment to it. 
You're allowed to aim for success and enjoy the comfort that prosperity brings, but don't let it consume you. Embrace money as a tool, not an end in itself. When used wisely, it can create opportunities, foster growth and even enable you to give back. On the other hand, don't neglect your spiritual pursuits. They're the foundation of your inner peace and happiness. Nurture your soul with prayer, meditation and acts of kindness. Your spiritual practices offer a wellspring of strength and resilience that will see you through life's ups and downs. It's pivotal that you learn to balance your material goals with your spiritual needs. Imagine life as a bike ride. Your material pursuits are the wheels that move you forward, but it's your spiritual grounding that keeps you steady and balanced. Without one or the other, you'll either be stuck or fall over. Part 6. Manifesting Financial Abundance Through Meditation You might be wondering how your spiritual practices, like meditation, can directly contribute to achieving financial abundance, and that's what we'll explore next. Meditation isn't just about peace and tranquility, it's a tool for shaping your reality, including your financial situation. Doubtful, don't be. Meditation helps clear the mind and focus your intentions. Once your mind is decluttered, you're more capable of visualizing the financial success you desire. You see, the universe responds to our thoughts and emotions. When you meditate, you're able to harness positive energy, and this positivity can attract abundance. Start by setting a clear financial goal during your meditation. Visualize this goal as though it's already been achieved. Feel the joy, the pride, the relief. Hold on to these feelings, for they're the beacon that guides the universe towards your aspirations. Next, practice gratitude. Acknowledge your current blessings, however small they may seem. This act of gratitude resonates with the universe, creating a cycle of positivity and abundance. Remember, meditation isn't a magic money tree. It's a tool for aligning your thoughts and emotions with your financial goals. The real work still lies in your actions, but with meditation guiding your way, you're better equipped to make decisions that lead to financial abundance. Innovative, isn't it? The power to shape your financial future lies within you, and meditation is the key to discovering it. Embrace this practice and watch your financial dreams manifest. Ever wondered how conscious spending can transform your financial landscape and lead you to the path of abundance? It's not as elusive as you might think. In fact, the secret lies in your mindset and your daily decisions. Conscious spending is an art that requires you to truly understand your values, your needs and your wants. It's not about depriving yourself of life's pleasures, but rather making thoughtful and intentional decisions about how you use your money. It's about spending in a way that aligns with your values and your vision for your life. You see, when you spend consciously, you're not just buying things, you're investing in experiences, relationships and your own well-being. You're expressing gratitude for the money you have and using it in a way that brings joy, fulfillment and growth. So, how do you cultivate the art of conscious spending? Start by reflecting on what truly matters to you. What are your goals, your dreams, your passions? What kind of life do you want to live? Then, create a budget that aligns with these values. Be mindful of your spending habits and make adjustments as needed. Part 7. Investing in your spiritual growth Just as you've mastered the art of conscious spending, it's equally essential to invest in your spiritual growth, nurturing the soul for a richer, more fulfilling life. This investment isn't about money, it's about dedicating time, energy, and focus to your inner self. Think of it as a form of self-care. You're not being selfish, you're cultivating the best version of you. The more you grow spiritually, the better you can serve others. It's a beautiful cycle of personal growth and compassionate giving. Start with simple practices like mindfulness, meditation or journaling. These aren't just buzzwords, they're powerful tools for self-discovery and reflection. Make it a daily habit, like brushing your teeth, but instead you're cleansing your mind and spirit. Then consider exploring deeper aspects of spirituality that resonate with you. This could be reading spiritual literature, joining a spiritual community, or taking up a practice like yoga or tai chi. Remember, it's not a race, it's a journey. 
Don't rush, take your time and truly immerse in the experience. Finally, remember to be patient with yourself. Spiritual growth doesn't happen overnight. It's like a seed, you must regularly water it, give it sunlight, and protect it from harsh elements. Investing in your spiritual growth is investing in the wealth of your soul. It's the secret to a fulfilling life, a life where you're not just surviving but thriving from within. You're your best asset and your spirituality is your greatest investment. Shifting from a mindset of scarcity to one of prosperity can profoundly transform your life, opening doors to spiritual abundance and fulfillment. This change doesn't happen overnight, and it's not about simply thinking positive thoughts. It's about deeply understanding, acknowledging, and altering your beliefs around scarcity and wealth. You've likely been conditioned to see the world from the perspective of scarcity. There's not enough to go around. You must compete for resources, and you'll never have enough. This mindset breeds fear, stress, and dissatisfaction. It's a trap, and you can break free. Imagine instead seeing the world as a place of infinite abundance, where there's more than enough for everyone. How would that change your actions, your relationships, your relationships, your sense of peace and contentment? This is the prosperity mindset. It's a shift from fear and lack to love, trust and abundance. To start this transformation, begin by examining your beliefs around money and scarcity. Are they based in fear or in love? Do they serve you or do they hold you back? Question them, challenge them, and replace them with beliefs that uplift you and align with your spiritual values. Part 8. Integrating spiritual practices into daily life. Incorporating spiritual practices into your daily routine can substantially enhance your sense of well-being and perspective, grounding you in values that foster a prosperous mindset. It's not just about meditation or yoga, but about finding the spiritual in the everyday. You've got a wealth of opportunities to connect with your inner self, to manifest abundance, and to live in alignment with your highest ideals. Consider this how often do you truly tune into yourself? How often do you tap into the wisdom that resides within you instead of seeking answers outside? It's time to harness that power and let it guide your actions, decisions, and ultimately your success. Start by setting an intention each morning. This isn't about setting goals or making a to-do list, rather. It's about defining what kind of energy you want to bring into your day. Perhaps it's peace, joy, gratitude, or abundance, whatever resonates with you. Let this intention guide your actions, your interactions, and your decisions throughout the day. Next, incorporate moments of mindfulness into your routine. This could be as simple as paying attention to your breath for a few moments, savoring your meals, or taking a mindful walk. It's about making space for the present moment, for the now. While embracing your inner wisdom is a powerful step, you can also gain invaluable insights by tapping into the experience and knowledge of spiritual mentors. These individuals have already walked the path you're venturing on and garnered wisdom from their journey. They can offer you guidance, support, and a fresh perspective, which can be incredibly empowering as you navigate your own spiritual journey towards wealth. Seeking out a spiritual mentor doesn't mean you're weak or lacking. In fact, it's a sign of strength and wisdom. You're recognizing that you don't have all the answers and are open to learning from others who faced similar challenges. It's an innovative approach that can fast-track your spiritual growth and financial success. Choosing the right mentor is pivotal. Look for someone who resonates with your spiritual beliefs and financial goals, they should inspire you, challenge you, and encourage you to push beyond your comfort zone. Be open-minded and receptive, but also don't be afraid to question and critically evaluate their advice. After all, your journey is unique, and what worked for them might not necessarily work for you. Part 9. Overcoming Fears and Doubts About Wealth Overcoming your fears and doubts about wealth can sometimes feel like an uphill battle, but remember, Every step forward is a victory in your journey towards spiritual and financial success. It's natural to feel apprehensive considering the societal conditioning that often equates wealth with greed or moral decay. But let's challenge that narrative. Your fears and doubts aren't a sign of weakness. They're signals that you're stepping out of your comfort zone, pushing boundaries and evolving. Embrace them as part of your growth process. 
The key here is to reframe your mindset about money and wealth. View wealth not as an end, but as a means to make a positive impact. Money in itself isn't good or bad, it's the intention behind its use that counts. Think of wealth as a tool that can help you fulfill your life purpose, serve others, and create an environment that nourishes your growth. That said, it's vital to confront your negative beliefs about wealth. Are you holding on to outdated ideas that no longer serve you? Do you fear that wealth will change you or your relationships? These are valid concerns, but they're based on fear, not reality. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Seek help when you need it. Find a mentor or a coach who can guide you, or join a community of like-minded individuals who are also on their path to spiritual and financial success. There's no shame in seeking support. Overcome your fears, challenge your doubts, and step into the wealth you deserve. Your journey to spiritual success starts now. You're on the path to spiritual success, and now it's time to master the art of financial discipline and responsibility. This isn't about penny-pinching or depriving yourself, but about learning to respect and value your finances as a tool for personal growth and spiritual fulfillment. Start by taking a clear-eyed look at your current financial situation. You can't change what you don't acknowledge, and it's important to start with a baseline understanding of where you stand. Once you've done that, set realistic, achievable financial goals that align with your spiritual values. Don't be afraid to dream big, but remember that financial success, like spiritual growth, is a journey that often involves small, consistent steps. Next, develop a habit of mindful spending. Before you swipe that card or click buy now, take a moment to ponder if the purchase supports your long-term goals and spiritual values. This doesn't mean you can't indulge in the occasional treat, but it does mean making thoughtful decisions about your money. Part 10. Aligning your career with your passion. Venturing on a career that aligns with your passion can be a transformative step in your spiritual journey. It's about blending what you love with what you do for a living. It's not just about earning money, but also about feeling fulfilled, purposeful and contented. You see, when you're passionate about your work, you're naturally motivated. You don't need external factors to push you because your drive comes from within. You're not just working for the paycheck, you're working because you genuinely enjoy what you're doing. You're excited to take on new challenges to innovate and to make a difference. And there's a beautiful synchronicity that happens when passion and profession meet. You'll find that opportunities start opening up for you you'll attract the right people, situations and resources that will help you succeed. Your passion becomes a magnet for success, and not just in a financial sense, but in a holistic, spiritual sense as well. But how do you align your career with your passion? Start by identifying what truly makes your heart sing. What are you naturally good at? What activities make you lose track of time? Once you've figured that out, explore ways to integrate this into your career. You might need to acquire new skills or perhaps venture into entrepreneurship. It's a journey that requires courage, but remember it's one that leads to spiritual and material prosperity. Building a secure financial future doesn't mean relying solely on your primary job. It involves creating multiple streams of income, a strategy that not only boosts your earnings but also enriches your spiritual journey towards success. This isn't about greed. It's about financial stability and personal growth. Each stream you create is a stepping stone towards self-sufficiency, independence, and the freedom to live your life on your terms. Now, you might be wondering, how do you create these streams of income? Well, the first step is always to leverage your passions and skills. Maybe you're a talented artist, a gifted writer, or an expert in a specific field. You can monetize these skills by freelancing, selling your products, or perhaps even teaching others. Investing is another powerful tool for generating income. It might seem intimidating at first, but with knowledge and patience you can make your money work for you. You can start with simple investments like mutual funds or bonds and gradually move on to stocks or real estate as you gain more confidence and expertise. Remember, diversification is key. It reduces risk and increases opportunities for growth. And the best part, 
you're not just diversifying your income, you're also diversifying your life experiences. Each new venture brings with it new learnings, new interactions, and new ways to see and understand the world. Creating multiple streams of income isn't just a financial strategy, it's a spiritual journey. It's about embracing abundance, learning to trust in your abilities, and realizing that you're capable of more than you ever imagined. So, take the leap and start building your streams today. Part 11. The power of visualization and affirmations. Harnessing the power of visualization and affirmations can profoundly impact your journey towards spiritual success. This isn't about magic or wishful thinking, but an innovative approach to align your mindset with your aspirations, allowing your inner wealth to manifest externally. Visualizing isn't mere daydreaming. It's a conscious, deliberate process where you create a mental image of your desired outcome. You're not just seeing your success, you're living it in your mind. Feel the joy of achieving your financial goals. Smell the rich aroma of your new office, hear the congratulatory applause, and taste the sweetness of victory. This mental rehearsal primes your mind and body to act in ways that align with your vision, making your dreams more attainable. Affirmations, on the other hand, are positive statements you repeat to yourself, fostering a mindset of abundance and positivity. Say, I am spiritually and financially prosperous or wealth flows naturally to me as you speak these words, believe them. Your mind is an incredibly powerful tool, and by consistently feeding it positive thoughts, you're programming yourself for success. Combining visualization and affirmations creates a powerful synergy. You're not just wishing for success, you're programming your mind to achieve it. While you're programming your mind for success and aligning your actions with your vision, you might encounter hurdles in the form of financial abundance challenges, and that's perfectly normal. Remember, the path to wealth isn't always linear. It's filled with twists and turns, tests and trials. These challenges aren't meant to deter you, but rather to strengthen your resolve and deepen your understanding. You may wonder why, even after aligning your actions with your spiritual goals, you still face monetary setbacks. It's important to understand that this isn't a sign of failure, but a part of the process. The universe is simply testing your determination and your faith in the divine plan. You've got to remain steadfast, continually reinforcing your vision and your faith. And remember, you're not alone. You've got the power of the universe on your side, guiding you towards your destiny, even when the path seems treacherous. Try to view these financial challenges as opportunities for growth and learning, rather than obstacles. Every setback is a chance for you to reassess, re-strategize, and come back stronger. It's all part of the journey to financial abundance. Part 12. Embracing the cyclical nature of wealth. Just as the seasons change, so too does wealth ebb and flow, and it's essential for you to embrace this cyclical nature. Recognize that financial abundance isn't a linear journey but a dynamic experience. It's the nature of life ups and downs, highs and lows, and wealth is no different. You see, it's not about the amount of money you possess at a given moment, but your relationship with it. It's about knowing when to hold on and when to let go, understanding when to invest and when to save. This cyclical rhythm of wealth is a dance, and you're the choreographer. Life has a way of teaching us lessons when we least expect them, and financial fluctuations are no different. They're opportunities for growth, moments for you to learn more about yourself and your relationship with money. It's during these periods of financial ebb that you're invited to reassess your values, redefine your goals, and cultivate resilience. So, embrace the cyclical nature of wealth. Use it as a tool for self-discovery and growth. Remember, it's not about the destination but the journey. Each financial cycle offers you a chance to learn, adapt, and evolve. It's through this process that you'll discover the secret to wealth from within a wealth that's not just measured in dollars and cents, but in wisdom, resilience, and inner peace. And that is true wealth. The kind of wealth that's sustainable, ethical, and spiritually fulfilling. Embrace the cycle, and you'll find that the journey towards financial abundance becomes a deeply enriching spiritual adventure. As you learn to embrace the rhythm of wealth, you'll naturally find yourself in a position where you can start giving back and sharing your abundance with others. 
Understand, this isn't just about monetary wealth. You're also rich in experiences, skills, knowledge, and time. Sharing these can often be more valuable than simply writing a check. What does this look like, practically? It could mean mentoring a startup founder who's struggling to scale their business. It might involve volunteering your time at a local charity or offering free classes in your area of expertise. It's about using your unique resources to make a difference in the lives of others. But here's the innovative twist the act of giving back isn't just benefiting those you're helping, it's enriching you too. You're not only building a legacy of impact, but you're also deepening your sense of purpose and fulfillment. You're creating a cycle of abundance that flows in all directions. So don't wait until you've made it big to start giving back. Begin now with what you have where you are. Remember, wealth isn't a destination, it's a journey, and the most fulfilling journeys are those where we lift others as we climb. With every act of giving, you're stepping into a higher level of spiritual wealth. You're embodying the true essence of abundance, the understanding that we rise by lifting others. It's an exciting, rewarding, and ultimately fulfilling path, your path to spiritual success. Part 13. Embodying the essence of spiritual wealth. In the vast domain of spirituality, True wealth is far more profound than material possessions. It's about cultivating an abundance of love, joy, peace, and fulfillment in your life. It's about embracing a life that's rich in understanding, compassion, and spiritual growth. Just like an artist, you have the power to paint a vibrant canvas of your life filled with rich hues of spiritual abundance. You're not merely a spectator, you're the creator. Embodying the essence of spiritual wealth begins with understanding that it's not an external journey to be completed, but an internal one to be lived. Make room for silence in your life. It's in this silence that you'll discover the whispers of your soul and the wealth of your spirit. It's where you'll find the strength to rise above the noise of the external world and tap into your inner richness. When you cultivate spiritual wealth, you're not just enriching your life, you're enabling others to do the same. Your spiritual abundance becomes a light that illuminates the path for others. It's an energy that flows from you to the world, inspiring change, love and peace. Remember, 80% of success is mindset. Embrace the truth that wealth isn't just financial, it's love, peace and fulfillment. Believe in your worthiness, set clear intentions and align your actions. And overcome limiting beliefs and navigate challenges with grace. Wealth is cyclical, give as you receive. Embodying spiritual wealth is your path to true abundance, which is already within you. Let's redefine success together, starting from within. Thanks for listening.